With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? When two containers are weighed, WA is given as to be 225 and WB is given as to be 160 gram. So uh, these, there are two container containing gas. So it is gas A and this is gas B, we don't know and we need to find which gas is this. Now when we are measuring the weight of this container plus the gas, we get 225 and we measure, when we measure B, uh, this uh, B gas with the container, this is the weight of B. It is coming out to be 160 grams. Now mass of the evacuated container is given as to be 100 grams. So when we have, we don't have gas A, then the mass comes out to be 100. When we don't have gas B, the mass comes out to be 100. So what does it mean? It, mean, it means that the mass of gas A would be equals to what? It would be equals to total mass 225 minus 100. That means 125 gram of mass of gas A would be present here. Now the gas in B, what would be the mass of the gas in B? So the total mass which we measure is 160 minus the mass of the container which is 160 minus 100 it would be 60 grams okay now now when uh, when we have done the experiment when the two containers are given the same amount of heat okay so we have given them the same amount of heat now the same temperature is recorded okay the temperature here and the temperature here is recorded but the pressure is changed the pressure in one is observed to be 2.5 atmosphere and second is observed to be 1.5 atmosphere okay now we need to find what are the gases present here so in the A, it can be helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, radon. And in the B, it could be uh, H2, F2, N2, O2, Cl2, basically from out of these gases. So these are the, basically we can, uh, in gas A, container A, there can be any of the gas. In container B, there can be any of the gas, okay. So it, they have just categorized in terms of monotopic and diatomic. Okay, we need to check which of the gases will be there. Now what we can do? Since we see that the uh, volume of the container is constant, B is constant. Okay, and uh, uh, the uh, uh, rise in temperature is recorded the same. Okay, the same temperature rise is recorded. Okay, so what we can see that uh, we can say that our PV equals to nRT. This is the ideal gas equation. Okay, so what we can say that uh, our P would be directly proportional to T. Okay, now uh, a change in P. Okay, a change in P would be equals to what? Delta P would be equals to what? It would be equals to delta P uh, divided by P would be equals to we just uh, take one step more so we just write here as p would be directly proportional to we can say that it would be k times of t now if we take changes of this okay so we can say that delta p by p would be equals to what it would be equals to delta t by t okay now from equation one we can get the value of p over t so from equation one if we just rewrite this equation p over t we can say that p over t would be equals to n r over v so we can just put this into our equation so we say that delta p is equals to delta t into p by t so it would be p by t and for the in place of p by t what we can put in place of p by t we can put the value as to be n r over v we can put like this okay now we see that our uh, uh, this delta p or the rise in pressure would be dependent upon would be directly proportional to what so delta t is same for both r would be same because it is universal gas constant volume would be same that means we can see that our delta p would turn out to be directly proportional to n so we can say that our Na uh, moles in container A divided by moles in container B would be equals to rise in pressure in A divided by rise in pressure in B. This would be the case. Okay. Now we don't know what are the moles, so but we know how to write the moles. So moles is basically written as mass upon molecular mass. So mass of A uh, we have calculated it comes out to be 125 divided by molecular mass. But I uh, we don't know what is the molecular mass, what is the type of gas. Now uh, this number of moles, so mass of mole, uh, this uh, uh, gas P is 60 and if we divide it by MB, so MB would be in the numerator. Okay, now what is the value of delta P? It is given as to be 2.5, so we can just write it to be uh, 5 by 2 and here delta PB is given as to be 1.5, so we can just write it 3 by 2, so 2 and 2 would be gone, so it would turn out to be uh, 5 by 3. Now from here, what would be the value of MA by MB? So if we cross multiply this, then our M, MA by MB would turn out to be 5 by 4. Okay, that means the uh, gases should be in such a way, in, uh, the ratio of um, uh, molecular masses should be 5 by 4, 5 is to 4, so it should be the ratio. Okay, now if you multiply this by 8 in the numerator and in the denominator, so what is the numerator? It would be 40 and what would be the denominator? It would be 32. This matches with one of the gas, which gas? Argon. 
what argon and we can also see that we can choose argon from here also because they have given in the option that argon is having a 40 and there is a 30 32 which we are getting the ratio so 42 divided by 32 would give us the ratio 5 is to 4 that means our gases could be what the gases are argon and uh, this oxygen so d would be the correct option for our case so hope you have understood the solution thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today